Hi friends, how are you all? You are watching Aspire Goal with me, Shruti Magesh. Now, in this video, let's look at the immunity and the immune system. Terms related to immunity. Immunity. The resistance of body against pathogen or disease. What is antigen? Substance which stimulates the production of antibody. So, this antigen is a protein complex which is being present on the surface of the pathogen. Antibody, glycoprotein complex produced by B lymphocytes. So, these are actually produced. The antibody is actually produced with response to that of the antigen which is in the present blood. Agglutination. Antigen plus antibody. So, the reaction between the antigen and antibody is called agglutination. And what is serology here? The study of antigen-antibody reaction is said to be serology. So, these terms are important for board exams. Now, let us look at the simple flowchart of immunity. Immunity can be primarily classified into two major types. Acquired immunity, innate immunity and acquired immunity. So, what is innate? Innate can be further classified into physical, physiological, cytokine and cellular barriers. Acquired immunity can be primarily classified into active and passive. Well, this active immunity can be further classified into primary and secondary. It, it can also be classified into natural and artificial. So, the passive immunity can be classified in only one type. That is natural and artificial. So, innate immunity is non-specific in nature. They are non-specific while acquired immunity is specific in nature. Now, let us look at the immune system. So, the pathogen or the disease-causing organism is present around all of us. So, what is which gives us protection from these pathogens? We are not prone to diseases every time. We are prone to diseases only at a particular time and an exaggerated time. So, these are the immune system which gives us protection against the pathogen which is present in the surrounding. Now, let us look at the immune system, innate immunity. So, they are present in the body from birth. So, these are the immune system which is present in the body from the time of birth, which gives us the primary immunity. So, the innate immunity has four major types. Physical barriers. So, these are physically present on the surface or which constitute the physical part. We have skin and mucosa. So, what is the pH of skin? The pH of skin is 3 to 5. The skin is made up of dead cells of dermatogen. So, these dermatogen are hydrophobic in nature. So, what is hydrophobic and hydrophilic? Hydrophobic is liquid hating or water hating, while hydrophilic is water loving. So, dermatogen protects our surface from being filled by water. So, this helps us to be away from pathogen. That is, uh, pathogen can, uh, can't go in our skin easily without the help of water. Mucosa, the mucous membrane which is present in respiratory, gastrointestinal and urogenital tract. So, mucus are being produced in these surfaces which trap the pathogen which enter the respiratory tract, gastrointestinal tract and urogenital tract. So, whenever we, uh, so for example, whenever we have or prone to cold, we usually get that uh, mucus. It is actually the mucus which traps the pathogen. It is completely filled with pathogen. So, during the time of cold only, we are clung to with lots and lots of mucus because of the higher percentage of pathogen. At the other time, we are not clung to with these mucus membrane in the nose or respiratory tract. It is because that we have cilia present in the respiratory tract which constantly pushes it into the stomach and these mucus are constantly sterilized by the acid present in the stomach. Now, let us look physiological barriers. So, physiological barriers we have three. Fever. So, the increased body temperature. Whenever pathogen enter our body, we get higher higher temperature or our body increases temperature to kill these pathogen which enter our body. pH. So, the power of hydrogen. We have oral cavity and stomach. Oral cavity and stomach is usually have acidic pH which kills the most of the pathogen especially the bacteria which enter. Uh, one thing to note here is that they usually say in the ancient time or in a few de decades ago whoever get ulcers or due to the increase in acidic secretion in the stomach this is actually wrong. 
So the ulcers are caused by Helicobacter pylori. So these are responsible for the ulcer formation in stomach and they can withstand even the higher acidic pH. Now let us look at the secretions. Secretions are produced by the sebaceous gland. So sebaceous gland produces sebum which is made up of lysozyme. So what is this lysozyme? Lysozyme is known as the suicidal bax. So this is important. You may get this question in neat examination that what is the name or the name of lysozyme. It is known as suicidal bax. Now let us look at the cytokine. So cytokine is actually a protein complex which is being produced by the virus infected cells. Virus infected cells produce the interferons. So this interferons is especially named as cytokines. <coughs> Sorry, interferons. So what is this interferon? Antiviral protein. So this is an antiviral protein which is made up of 270 amino acids. Interferons are species, species specific that is it can produce immunity against only that type of virus. So what does interferons play an important role in our physical or innate immunity? It is that it induces the adjacent cells to produce the TIP that is a translation inhibiting protein so that the virus won't affect those cells or virus won't infect the nearby cells. Now let us look at the cellular barriers. We have PMNL that is the polymorphonuclear leukocytes, natural killer cells, monocytes. These constitute the blood. And we have macrophages present in the tissue. So these all together constitute the phagocytic cells. What are the important phagocytic cells? The natural killer cells and the macrophages are neutrophils the and macrophages. Cells. Monocytes are being produced at the site of infection. So these are produced at the site of infection by the pathogen enteror body. These monocytes are later converted into macrophages. These macrophages are irregularly shaped phagocytic cells. Thank you so much. We will look at the mechanism of phagocytosis in the next video. If you are new to my channel, please like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon nearby. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.